Hello and welcome to another reading from the book, The Faith I Live By, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, Are You in Danger? November 13th. Earthly pleasures vainly call me, I would be like Jesus. Nothing worldly shall enthrall me, I would be like Jesus. Be like Jesus, this my song, in the home and in the throng. Be like Jesus all day long, I would be like Jesus. Who is among you that feareth the Lord, that obeyeth the voice of his servant, that walketh in darkness and hath no light? Let him trust in the name of the Lord, and stay upon his God. Isaiah 50 verse 10 There are many youth who walk in darkness and have no light. The Lord's hand has been reached out in tenderest compassion and love, but they do not care to trust him. They want to feel fully able to devise and plan for themselves. The Lord marks out a way in which he would have them walk. He has lent them talents to be used for his glory, to do a certain work for the master. But Satan says, I will countermand the order of Christ. I will find another line of work for active brain and busy hands, whereby they shall serve me. I will eclipse eternal interests before this youth and attract his mind by worldly interests. I will bind him about with worldly allurements like the finest threads, whose power to bind will become at last like ropes of steel, and he shall be bound in my service. Let the youth critically examine their motives by prayer and searching of the scriptures and see if their own will and inclinations do not lead away from God's requirements. Young men and women, inquire in your business relations, am I where God would have me to be? Am I in the line of my duty? The blessing of God will be upon those who are just where God's plans would have them be. Has the Lord given you light that he requires you to do a certain work? If so, it is not safe for you to be disobedient. Let there be serious thinking on your part. Ask yourself, am I serving my master Jesus Christ? Or am I pleasing myself and failing to please God and to bring honor to his holy name? Do you want to change this order of things without delay? Would you choose to serve God? Then Jesus invites you to believe. Grasp the hand of infinite power. Faith grows by exercise. Feed upon the promises. Be content to rely on the simple promise of God's word. Wait no longer in unbelief, for you are in danger of losing your souls. Thank you for listening today. I trust that you have heard and received the message God had in store for you. God's peace be upon you. Maranatha.